Hello, thank you. Hello. Uh, please tell me something about the project in uh, Yash that you are uh, building uh, right now. The, okay. the concept behind it and other things. Okay. Uh, we're, we're developing a large project in Yash now. We have, uh, our, our philosophy is, is really a value for money philosophy. We're trying to bring um, an affordable project to Yash that's extremely high quality, energy efficient, and uh, will deliver uh, cost savings and uh, higher environmental quality to uh, people buying. In uh, our price range that we're uh, going to be delivering this at is in the Prima Casa range. We have, we're using advanced building materials called a structurally insulated panel, which delivers the best thermal and acoustic efficiency that's available anywhere in the market at any price. Um, we are, uh, these panels, uh, this uh, structure is going to be earthquake proof, it's fireproof, it's waterproof, uh, mold and mildew resistant. There is, uh, we're providing a, uh, um, um, homes that offer not only a townhouse, but you're also getting um, a, a backyard uh, for children and for entertaining guests and the whole thing, all included in the price of what you would normally be paying for an apartment. Uh, we're also, uh, we're building this uh, project on Ezrin Lake, uh, uh, just outside Yash, which is, um, you know, a beautiful view, and um, all these homes are going to have lake views. The, uh, we anticipate starting uh, uh, physical construction in the middle of August, and we should uh, have units ready to sale for sale by early September. The uh, one of the advantages of the uh, this technology that we're using for the construction is, is an extremely fast building technology, and it's very precise. Uh, we can put up um, uh, a home in uh, less than two weeks, um, inside and outside, uh, complete and uh, deliver to the client in the time that it takes them to get uh, approved with the, the finance company and uh, um, close the paperwork with the notary. So, uh, so it's a, a big advantage for the homeowner. Uh, the price point is an affordable one. And uh, the, the quality of the construction is extremely high. Uh, unlike uh, um, some of the smaller developers who are uh, putting up, you know, one or two homes at a time. Uh, we've been in this business over a quarter century. Um, we're used to doing large developments. We're used to building in America and Canada and Western Europe where uh, extremely high quality is absolutely required. And, uh, you know, we don't cut any corners. Um, everything is done correctly. And, uh, and it's uh, uh, built so that not only you can enjoy it, but your children's children will be able to enjoy it. So uh, this is the, uh, you know, the, uh, a, a brief bit about the, the project that's uh, going up on Ezran Lake. The first phase of this project is going to be 76 homes. And uh, uh, we are... Uh, very excited to uh, uh, present it and uh, and get everyone out there to um, see what home building should really look like in Romania. Uh, what do you think about the market in our country? What advice do you have for the uh, people that build houses and don't have success or have one nice uh, success? And what should should they do better than uh, they do now? The developers in the Romanian market uh, have historically been very short-sighted. Um, they've been looking to make a lot of money one time um, and uh, put up uh, low, you know, low-quality construction, cheap construction, cut corners, not put all the concrete in or put, not put all the steel in if they're building with concrete and steel. They're they're they're. Uh, using shortcut methods to try to get a quick sale and get out. Um, and then the buyers are stuck with an inferior product 
that they have to constantly repair and worry about for uh, for years to come. Uh, this is uh, what Romanians uh, developers would be far better served by taking a long-term view, building it correctly, making a little bit less on the development, but um, having a reputation that uh, follows you for the next 20 or 30 years um, we, during your professional life that you can go back and point with pride to all your past developments. Uh, there are very few developers that I've met here that are actually proud of developments that they've made. The, um, they may be happy that they made profit on it, but they wouldn't want to live there themselves. And they don't want to point to that building and say, I built that, right? Um, the, um, and this is the wrong attitude. If, you, if 30 years after you build a property, if you can't look at that property and proudly say, I built that, you've done it wrong. Um, a uh, a, a well-built property should last at least three generations in a in a top quality condition. The um, it's uh, it, you shouldn't be building for um, the cheapest possible way. You should be um, uh, building high quality uh, product that is going to give your customers value because word of mouth is important. Not only if if you sell a good quality project to someone, they're going to tell their friends, their children, you know, their uh, their colleagues at work that uh, this is a great product. And the next time you're building something, you're going to have people lining up to get um, your product, your your home, because they know the quality that you built. Um, if you build a bad product. The um, nobody will want to buy the next project that you do. Uh, it's uh, you because you've ruined your reputation, and and uh, it, it, this is a a mentality change that I think is due um, uh, here. I, I I think some of the um, there there are some uh, developers uh, that have adopted more progressive methods using green technologies, things like this that have taken the longer view now, that are looking for a long successful career rather than a, uh, a, a very short one. And, uh, and th this is uh, the advice that I would give to developers is, uh, is build as though you want to be in the building business for 50 years, not you know, build as if you want to be in the building business for one year. Uh Tell me, please, some names of the house complexes that you like here in our country, if you can, or developers that you admire or well, or, uh, or like. Well, uh, uh, the um, I, I think rather than um, you know mentioning specific developers or, or, or complexes, uh, um, I I think I, I would prefer to talk about uh, general concepts, building concepts that I like um, that that I'm seeing. Uh, I, I'm, I'm seeing some of the more progressive developers now um, integrating, um, uh, you know, the quote-unquote green technologies. Um, these are not only uh, a benefit from the environmental side, which you'll see on TV and the whole thing. These actually are a real benefit for the consumer, for the buyer, because you're saving heating and air conditioning costs. You are um, improving your your air quality inside the house. Uh, you are uh, getting you are using materials that uh, actually are uh, longer lasting, better quality. You're using um, uh, technologies that are new rather than technologies that are 100 years old. The uh, these are um, th these are things that all improve the quality of life for the the person that's living there. The um, um, and and increases their uh, their cash flow because they're not spending huge amount of money every winter 
uh, trying to heat their home or a lot of money uh, in the summer trying to air condition it or you know uh, uh, and because of heat heat losses and things like this that are that are very uh, very significant um, the other thing is is that the, um, I like uh, the new trend to use um, green spaces in in the homes uh, if, if someone is buying a home and they plan to you know spend the next 20 or 30 or longer years there you want to create an environment for them that uh, is where it's a joy to go home, not a burden. Um, the uh, the old architectural designs of boxes, you know, a lot of small rooms, are being overtaken by the new designs of open plan, where uh, a well-designed 60 square meters feels like a hundred, rather than you know, a poorly designed 80 square meters feeling like 40. Uh, and um, in these, uh, these design concepts are being um, uh, imported from the West, from, from America, from Western Europe, from uh, these places. I'm, and I'm really happy to see them arrive here in Romania. Uh, there is so much more that can be done with these uh, new uh, with the, these kind of design concepts uh, that delivers a much nicer building and a much nicer feeling uh, and atmosphere than the old uh, communist style structures and and uh, with the younger generation uh, you're seeing a lot of these uh, new technologies and these new ideas are being accepted and uh, and they're the first ones that are really seeing the the uh, the full benefit of uh, of all these technologies, and and uh, I, I'm really happy to see it come to Romania. I'm, I, I I like where Romania is going now. It it is um, it, uh, the uh, the mentality is slowly changing. The old guard is you know is being replaced with the uh, with new, more progressive, more advanced ideas uh, of a uh, younger generation. And, uh, and uh, it, you know, slowly, slowly, we're seeing um, some of these really high quality developments, both um, in office and in residential, starting to uh, make their way into, uh, into development. And, uh, and uh, they are really standout projects that, that are on par with anything built anywhere else in the world. And uh, this is something for Romanians to be very proud of. I got it. Uh, what do you think about the green mortgage idea? Do you like it? Are you a, a fan of it? Will you uh, adapt to it, basically? Yes, uh, I, 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 think, uh, I think it's a, a fantastic product. I, uh, I'm very excited about using it for this development. Um, this is a, uh, uh, Raiffeisen has shown um, a lot of wisdom and a lot of forethought in developing this product because it is an established fact that green homes are much cheaper to operate than traditional homes for the, for the consumer. That means that the people have more money to pay their mortgage payment and the chances of them losing the house is much less because their cash flow is higher. They don't have all these extra expenses. Um, this is a benefit not only for the buyer, but it's also a benefit for the bank because the bank feels more secure with their loan. And, uh, and uh, recognizing that, uh, that uh, you're saving money every single month as an owner of a green home is a big step for the bank. And I think that uh, Raiffeisen has proven to be a leader in this area and that other banks will, will follow their lead and start developing uh, green mortgages of their own. Uh, uh, we are um, a green mortgage qualified project uh, up, in, uh, up on Ezrin Lake. And, uh, and this is uh, uh, very good for our clients because they're going to be buying a home not uh, at an interest rate that, uh, which is higher than they would normally pay in the market, 
but uh, an interest rate competitive with uh, pre Um and uh, and the terms of the interest rate are are, are very good in the conditions uh, that they are offering. So um, so I'm I'm excited to see new financial products rewarding quality green developments, and uh, and that this uh, this trend I think is just starting now and I think it's going to grow. Uh, okay, you said you built some other projects in other countries. Can you name a couple of them and sure. in which countries? Sure. Uh, the um, uh, there's uh, we uh, in China, um, in the city of Dalian, uh, we built 1,200 homes, um, 1,200 uh, single-family homes, uh, in a, surrounding a man-made lake, um, and. Uh, uh, it was extremely uh, successful development. Uh, well, sold out. We couldn't build them fast enough. Um, the uh, uh, they were a mix of um, purchases from the local population and from corporations that had um, manufacturing headquarters, uh, foreign corporations that had manufacturing corporation uh, 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 manufacturing operations in that area in northern China. Uh, uh, I built the uh, Biltmore Hotel in Santa Clara, California, which is a 262 room luxury hotel, uh, the, uh, 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 which is in uh, Silicon Valley, which of course is the, the high tech uh, area in, in, uh, near San Francisco in California. Uh, there, uh, there was uh, also a, um, uh, a uh, 300 um, um, apartment uh, uh, park style um, development that we did in San Bernardino, California, uh, which was uh, which was very successful. Uh, the uh, and uh, that was done uh, on uh, it, it was uh, about. Uh, 12 hectares, and there were 300 homes spread out in, in, in that with streams and fountains and, and uh, very nice development. Uh, there's, uh, 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 there was uh, also another development in Canada, in the, in the Toronto uh, region, where we built uh, 400 homes, uh, and, uh, and yeah, it's a... Uh, um, you know, also a um, uh, green product, uh, SIP panel development. It's um, SIP panels are are really a go-to technology in Canada, in the United States, in Scandinavia, anywhere where um, energy consumption is concerned. Um, and uh, so, I mean, there there, there have been many. Uh, w um, I, I've been in the development business since 1988, uh, and uh, and so. Uh, in total, uh, 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 developed or uh, substantially renovated over two billion dollars worth of uh, products. So, uh, you know, it, I, I'm here for the long term. Uh, the uh, I mean, this is a um, this is a lifelong passion. Um, I am very proud of, uh, of all the developments that I have uh, been involved with in my life and uh, this is a trend that I intend continuing. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very, very much.